Welcome to West Wing Week. Welcome to this Turkey Day edition of your West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and beyond. This week, the president traveled to Las Vegas and Chicago to highlight the steps he's taking to reform our broken immigration system, awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and delivered a statement on the grand jury's decision in Ferguson, Missouri, while the Vice President, Dr. Biden, visited Ukraine and Turkey. That's November 21st to November 27th, or We Need Turkey. On Friday, the president flew to Las Vegas, Nevada to visit Del Sol High School, the same school where he laid out his vision for immigration reform nearly two years ago. On this day, the president spoke to a fired up crowd about the steps he has taken on his own to fix our broken immigration system. We didn't raise the Statue of Liberty with her back to the world. We did it with her light shining as a beacon to the world. Generations of immigrants have made this country into what it is. It's what makes us special. Meanwhile, many time zones away in Kyiv, Ukraine, the vice president met with Prime Minister Yatsenyuk and President Poroshenko to discuss topics like Ukraine's reform agenda and energy security. Dr. Biden met with a displaced family forced to flee their home due to fighting in eastern Ukraine. They shared their story and talents as a family of trained musicians. Later, Vice President Biden paid tribute to the fallen at a memorial outside of the parliamentary library. Finally, to close out the day and the trip to Ukraine, the Vice President attended a roundtable with newly elected members of the Rada to discuss anti-corruption efforts in Ukraine. On Saturday, the Vice President and Dr. Biden were in Istanbul, Turkey, where the Vice President met with the Prime Minister, the President, and addressed the Atlantic Council Energy Conference before he met with some civil society leaders. Prior to departing Istanbul for D.C., the Vice President and Dr. Biden met with His All Holiness Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew and later toured the largest mosque in Istanbul. On Monday, the President welcomed a group of scientists and doctors who also happened to be the American laureates to this year's Nobel Prize. The President congratulated the winners and told them they had made their country proud. Later, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, with the President and Vice President at his side, announced that he will be stepping down after almost two years of leadership at the Department of Defense. The President praised Secretary Hagel for his tremendous dedication to our national security throughout his long career in the military and in government. Chuck Hagel has devoted himself to our national security and our men and women in uniform across more than six decades. He volunteered for Vietnam and still carries the scars and shrapnel from the battles that he fought. In the afternoon, musicians, authors, public servants, and other esteemed Americans gathered at the White House to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. And, and I've said it publicly, I, I love Meryl Streep. I, I love her. Uh, her husband knows I love her. Michelle knows I love her. There's nothing either of them can do about it. That night, the president spoke on the decision reached by the grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri. But what we want to do is to make sure that we're also focusing on those who can offer the kind of real progress that we know is possible. You know, that the vast majority of people in Ferguson, the St. Louis region, in Missouri, and around the country are looking for. On Tuesday, the president flew to Chicago to continue to make the case for immigration reform. First, he convened a roundtable with community leaders. Then he spoke to a larger crowd at the Copernicus Community Center. That's the ideal that binds us all together. That's what's at stake when we have conversations about immigration. That's what's at stake when we have conversations about Ferguson. Are we going to live up to those ideals of who we are as a people? And it falls on all of us to hand down to our kids a country that lives up to that promise where America is the place where we can make it if we try. On the eve of Thanksgiving, the president continued a long White House tradition and pardoned a hand-selected turkey, sparing the bird from someone's dinner table and ensuring the rest of its days are spent roaming a farm or doing whatever it is that turkeys like to do. <laughs> then continuing in a long tradition of service before supper, the first family made their way to Southeast DC to volunteer at Bread for the City and help them provide more than 9,000 holiday meals this holiday season. Our weekly story ends this week with Thanksgiving Day when we hope you and yours are gathered around the table and feeling grateful. Once you're back online, remember to stay engaged with us at whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out this Thanksgiving edition of your West Wing Week.